Alright. Time to pick up back where I left off, which I think was leaving this area. Is there no more Riddler things for me to do at this current time? Okay. <laughs> Headed the wrong way immediately. Jump scares. Looks like there's quite a few things for me to still discover. I didn't even notice this. I argued with the latest group of young, eager doctors. They bored me with theories and ideas, proving that they had no theories on how to cure these animals. Only one shared my vision. I offered her the chance to explore her dreams. She accepted. We'll make a good team. else in this area. Perhaps more this way. Oh yeah, I think there's one here. Yep.
Got that. See if Joker has anything interesting to say in the visitor center. Is there still empty? Let's talk about employee relations, Bats. Standing up now. Harley disappointed me, and now she's out of the picture. Gone, forgotten, dead to me. <laughs> you get the idea. What's it like in your organization? Do you punish your hired help when they fail you? Or is that saucy outfit you make it wear punishment enough? It's <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Alright, well, I guess that's all he has to say. Oh, I do remember there's one in between there, yeah. Looks like there's some over there as well. Where does it want me to go? Nope. It wants me to go to the Botanical Gardens. Yeah, so we can go this way. Oh, okay, I need the upgrade to be able to get that. Oh, wait, do I? Here we go. Had to notice this one first.
There we go. What do you call the detective who is only halfway to the end? Loser? Okay. So, there's two dents on the wall. Let's face it. There are two. Then I have dents three of those. On One patient interview tape and joke of teeth still missing. Oh, I actually don't need to fly up there. There it is. These are the private notes of Dr. Young. Titan is a success. Even my funding worries have been solved after the unexpected donations from Mr. White. Joker has also shown a remarkable interest in the possibility of a cure. Once the protein bonding process is finalized, I will... Dr. Young, you ready? Oh, yes, yes, come in. You heard my feelings, Doc. Keeping me waiting like that. Sit down. You can leave us. You sure? We're fine. Aren't we, Joker? Oh, yes. Well, if you insist. I'm just outside, okay? So is he here? Did your patient X arrive? Yes. I must say, progressing more rapidly than I expected. Uh, but enough of that. Let's talk about you. No. Let's talk more about your Titan project. My what? How do you... How do I know you have been strapped to a table in the basement while you pump him dry? Yo! Would you believe <laughs> a lucky guess? I'm losing patience. You're cheating. Water. You must be. Nope. Skill issue, Riddler. Uh, I know one of them is... Uh, I don't know if I... Yeah, I think the one of them is the one I can't... These two I can't get right now. Because I need to have the ability to blow that one up. And I think to get that one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So I think we're kind of stuck on that for now. Head to the next area. Do I go? Yeah, okay, I'll go through this. Da -da 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 -da. That's a big ass boots. in this area. Oh, a Bruce Wayne character by him. Let's read what that says. Oh, there it is. Born into the wealthy Wayne family, Bruce Wayne had an idyllic childhood. Although he was given a strong sense of justice by his moralistic and philanthropic parents, Thomas and Martha. After their violent murder at the hands of a mugger, Bruce dedicated his life to battling the criminal element that took their lives. He left Gotham for many years to train his mental and physical abilities across the globe, finally returning to take up the mantle of the Dark Knight. Six foot two to ten. So, expert escape artist, master of disguise. This is 
quite a few of these freaks around, so... This last one. Oh, there's two more. It's alright, we'll clear this one out first. I say we get uh, this upgrade, which increases the effective range. Yeah. And then that one just makes it easier. Ooh, and. My map will help you, Batman. Okay. I'm in the right spot since the continuous challenges. Um many challenges appear. My those. challenges appear to position. I'm thinking this is another question oh, never mind, it's this thing. The Gotham police dragged a new patient to the island. They said he was responsible for the disappearance of hundreds of the city's vagrants. As I looked at his disgusting body, all scales and teeth, my mind ran free, dreaming of delicious punishments to break this monster. Doctors gathered around, poking it, examining, but only I knew what would cure him. Once, Once and, and for, for all. all. Death. Alright, well, over halfway done with those. There's something on the far side which is interesting. And no, I don't mean comics. Ah, oh, there's just this one that I missed. <laughs> okay, apparently there's something else on this rooftop that I may have missed. Ah! Oh. So, I probably have to go up one more. Yeah. There's ten of those, one of those, and tape I'm still missing. Oh, okay. I may know where the patient interview tape is. Might go for an achievement right here. Just glide for a hundred meters.
Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> the achievement's called Night Glider. I think the only thing I'm missing now are chattering teeth. If I'm correct. Which I guess I can look for real quick. Tells me what what percent I'm at? No. Any in here, right? Well. All right. Well, let's go to the botanical gardens. Oh, it's too much time. Oh, it's two right there. That was the last two I needed. Okay. 
back or something. Alright, back to the story. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. I can't waste any time in finding the Titan. Didn't uh, go exactly as I had planned, but you know, we'll take it. There's anything else in this area that I missed? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Saw me, but I salute man, they killed me quick. These guys are like hyper.
What are you doing? Ah! Shut up, I'll kill you myself! Free. Anyone got a way out of this? We have to find them, or we're next to him and... We'll come back when the bat is dead! Wait up, I'll watch your back! There's still five of you left! Plenty enough to take out a bat! Hey, get off me! That's a sleeping. Someone finish him off. Try and mess with us. Hey, get off me! I'll cover the door. What are we gonna do? Oh my God! Oh, shit. That man's dead. Hey, someone help Bad Baby up off the floor. Okay. 
Anyone got a plan? Shut up and keep looking. Leave him here. Spread out and find that bat. Hold up. I'm coming with you. Let me remind myself what this is. That guy hasn't moved the entire time. Man down! Man down! Didn't you hear me? I need help over here! Screw you! It's every man for himself! I have to bust wherever this is in order to come on be able to open that door. I didn't even know that was one. You I may just still reach that a level it. just below my genius one day. Okay, ten and twenty. That's also one. Patient interview: Pamela Lillian Isley, November fourteenth, ten twenty-one a.m. Hello, Pamela. Today, I'd like to go back to something you said in our last conversation. Actually, you said your first offer to help Gotham was rejected. How can you possibly believe that? Well, what do you mean? You released thousands of poisonous spores into Gotham, killed hundreds of people. How does that help anybody? I'm not interested in bodies, Doctor. Horrible, fleshy sacks walking around destroying my poor babies with their greed <laughs> and arms. But aren't you one of those fleshy sacks? You're a were a doctor too. How can you turn your back on us? Quite easily as it happens. But not you, Stephen. You're different. I feel we have a connection. Really? You do? Of course. <laughs> Alright. Very interesting. Anything else over here? Nope. Alright. On we go. Ah, uh. oh, please! I'm not important. I can't help you. She's here! You want somebody who fools don't stand a chance! Let him hit! 
That's sort of. You gonna cut me free anytime soon? No. What is this? Just gonna bomb. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. I eat punks like these for breakfast. What were they doing in here? The ones that weren't hitting me went over there and started doing something to the power controls. I have no idea what they were doing. Maybe that lets me go now. Oh, there's a tape there. Almost missed it. Pamela, I got you what you asked for. Do you like it? Oh yes, Stephen, I love it. Such a beautiful flower. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh, no, Pamela, I can't leave it. It's against all the rules. I'll just bring it and show it to you when I visit. But it's me, Stephen. I get so lonely on my own. You wouldn't want me to be lonely, would you? No, of course not. Keep it. Just don't let anyone see. Really. No one. You can trust me, Stephen. Thank you. Now give me a kiss. Uh, I can't. People will see. No one's watching. What's wrong with you? Don't you love me? Call me Ivy. Of course I love you. Simp. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Okay, we are back. I don't think there's anything else. Let's go ahead and go back to that door. Well, aren't you the persistent one? That's always one step ahead. Yep. It won't be long before I have an army of titan monsters at my fingertips. Oh, just imagine me being carried through the streets, stepping over the corpses of all those innocent citizens. It's going to be glorious, so oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Bio. Assessed from a young age with Lewis Carroll's book Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, Jervis Tetch, an expert hypnotist, embraced the delusion that he was the incarnation of a character in the story, the Mad Hatter. Using his skills for mesmerism, the Mad Hatter has committed many crimes, often themed around the book that inspired him in his love of hats and headgear. Going so far as to implant his hats with mind control chips to amplify his hypnosis powers. Above all, other headwear, however, he covets Batman's distinctive cowl and will stop at nothing to acquire it. He's four foot eleven, so we got a short king over here. Blue eyes, red hair. Jervis Tetch, Batman 49.
is 115 pounds. Quite the slender little leprechaun. Um, schizophrenic. Yeah. Check so. To stop this now before it goes too far. <laughs> At this rate, you never catch me. Ah! I can still squeeze through that. That's this is very easily a gap. I right need there. to find a way through this mess. Can I just walk across it? Water it. Okay. Oops, Bust this bad boy open. Catcher needed more than just his turn. Okay, another character bio. Once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham, Otis Flanagan soon started his natural gift and affinity with an ability to control rats to stage a variety of crimes. Eventually his control over the Gotham over the vermin grew until he threatened Gotham City with a veritable army of rodents. Incarcerated many times at Blackgate, he's able to do as much damage within the prison as without using his loyal pets to relay messages and transport materials inside the maze of ventilation ducts that wind throughout the giant prison. Pretty cool character design. Um, blue eyes, brown hair, looks a bit orange to me. 5'11", 155 pounds. Lots of knowledge of Gotham sewer system and prisons layout. Wordlessly communicate with and command all rats. Interesting. Overvalues rodent life. Okay, cool. Sure, I'll kick this out. Not sure where it goes exactly. Let's go back and check this other side first before we continue. That's what I thought it was. Either which one of those ways is gonna be to a Riddler trophy. How am I doing on this? What percentage am I? 141 out of 240 total. I've got 99 left. This challenge can only be seen by those with a different view on life. Okay, so this is one, another one of those climbing puzzles that you can't use the back.
Are you okay? Do I look okay? They were gonna kill me. We were in the aviary hiding out, and they came in with Joker shooting up the place and loaded us into cages. Are they still in there? No, man. No one's come out since. You got to help them! Stay here. I feel like Joker kind of predicted that I would go there. Nothing over there. Okay, that's the way I'm supposed to go, but what's this way? Ah, okay, this is where Joker blew it up. Alright. Alright, I'll listen to this and then I'll call the recorder. How should I know? It does seem careless of you 
to have lost him. I have no time for your games, Miss Isley. Tell me where you have him. We have security footage of you and him leaving your cell last night. So? Do I need to spell it out? We know you hypnotized him, or, or whatever it is you do. We know he took you somewhere, but conveniently security cameras across the island were mysteriously covered by leaves and flowers at 3 a.m. Now tell me what he is! I'm not saying a word unless you do exactly what I tell you to do. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to end this recording here before we begin to see the Joker. So. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next part.